Martha watched as a new student walked through the gates of opportunity and down the long road to the Berry Schools. He looked so small, he looked so lonely, and she remembered when her father sent her off to school. Madame Lefevre's finishing school for girls was located in Baltimore, Maryland. Martha Berry was not impressed with the hustle and bustle of the city. She was not impressed with the girls who attended the school. They were sophisticated, snooty, and made fun of the kind of clothes Martha loved to wear. When Martha Berry could no longer stand the circumstances under which she was living in Baltimore, Maryland, she wrote her father. She told him how much she missed Oak Hill. She missed her family. She missed Aunt Martha, who'd worked for the family for as long as she could remember. She told her father about the girls, how snooty they were, how they mistreated her, and about how her clothes were different. She ended the letter. Papa, I am coming home as soon as possible. Love, Martha. Colonel Berry's reply to his daughter shocked her. Martha Berry, you have only been there a week, child. That is not long enough to make a decision about coming home. You will stay the entire year. If you don't learn anything but to take self-discipline to your heart, then the entire year will be worth it. I have sent money to Madame Favor so that she may take you shopping and buy clothes more suiting to your situation. Martha Berry did as her father instructed. She stayed the entire year in Baltimore, Maryland. She made some good friends. She took art, sewing, and elocution. The art classes were okay. Martha would rather have been at Oak Hill planning a social event for her family and friends. Sewing. She had rather been riding Roni the Pony than in a sewing class. And elocution? Well, that was very trying for Martha. She would rather been in the log cabin reading alone than standing before her classmates making a speech or reciting poetry. Martha would never forget that year. It had been hard, but worth it. Some years at Barry, it took all the self-discipline she could muster to keep the gates of opportunity open for students who wanted to come to the Barry schools to learn. <laughs>